Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome SaltStack CEO and co-founder, Mark Chen. Welcome to SaltConf 17. It's great to have all of you here today. That video will never get old, will it? <laughs> Thanks, Bronze. Um, there's a backstory behind that that's kind of a lot of fun. Look, um, we're grateful to have you here at this year's conference. This is our fourth annual event. Uh, we thank all of you for coming. We know that many of you have come from long distances, and it's great to have you here again in Salt Lake City. As is always the case, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of planning and effort and time that goes into preparing for a conference like this. And so at the outset, I want to extend a few thank yous to a few groups of people uh, that have been instrumental in helping us to kick off this conference. First, I want, to th I want to thank all of our sponsors. We've been fortunate over the last four years to have a great group of corporate sponsors that have helped us to uh, launch and to sustain this event. Second, I'm so grateful for all of you, our attendees. This conference wouldn't be what it is without you for your participation and for the things that you bring, the insights and the knowledge that you share with us. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the SaltStack employees. This is truly an all hands on deck effort and every single SaltStack employee has put a tremendous amount of time and energy over the last several weeks and months in making this show a success. So let's give everybody a round of applause for, for their contributions. <laughs> Today, I'd like to talk about the proverbial liftoff of SaltStack, what we're doing to make our organization what it is and to take our products to the next level. Now, to start off, when I was a kid growing up in Spokane, Washington, I remember spending endless hours in the library reading about flight and reading about fast airplanes, jets. I remember going to the library and reading about the SR-71 Blackbird, an aircraft that was capable of moving at over 3,500 kilometers per hour. I remember reading about Chuck Yeager the first pilot to, to exceed the speed of sound back in 1947. I remember watching space shuttle launches on the TV. There's something, about, there's something about flight and speed that inspires all of us. Now, I mentioned SaltConf, and it's really interesting for us to reflect back on the last four years. It's amazing to see what can be accomplished with a little vision, lift, and velocity. I think back to the earliest days of SaltStack when Tom and I were feeling that excitement and the traction, the energy that was starting to gain, the momentum that was building behind this movement that's become SaltStack. In 2014, the two of us were sitting in our office together, and we looked at each other and we said, we need to put on a user conference. Now keep in mind we had 12 employees at the time. So it was a bold undertaking. But we were grateful that we were able to have 150 attendees show up at that very first SaltConf. How many of you were there? All right, let's give these guys a round of applause. In 2015 and 2016, we held our second and third annual SaltConf events right here in Salt Lake City. Each year, attendance grew. Now this year, we're aptly meeting at the Salt Palace, if you hadn't figured that out. And you're surrounded by 600 attendees, some of the best minds in the industry. Individuals that are members of our community and highly esteemed customers. We appreciate all of you being here. Now, on that topic of SaltConf, I'm pleased to announce the date and location of SaltConf 18. We're going to be holding it this year or next year right here in the Salt Palace, September 10th through the 13th. We hope you'll make plans to join us along with your friends and industry peers.
Now, today, we officially kick off Salt Comp 17. But many of you have already been here for two days of pre-conference training. We've had 250 students participating in four distinct tracks. And by the end of this week, 200 of you will sit and hopefully pass the Salt Comp Certified Engineering exam. We wish all of you the best of luck who are sitting for that exam. And as we think about the next two days, 600 of you will participate in over 60 different sessions, half of which will consist of SaltStack employee tech talks, and the other half hands-on use cases by members of our community and our esteemed customer base. Now it's interesting to think about who's here, who's actually traveled great distances to be here at SaltConf. It's truly become a global affair with over 30 distinct countries represented, attendees from all over the world. We have attendees that have come from Japan, from the Netherlands, from Russia, from Germany, from the UK, Singapore, Switzerland, just to name a few. We appreciate the fact that you've come such great distances. Now, this company has a strong open source heritage. Since its inception, the SALT open source project has been a source of tremendous adoption, contribution, and visibility that's helped lay the foundation for SALT Stack the company. Because of our roots in open source, our promise of an event-driven, hands-off automation platform throughout the entire infrastructure is being realized by an increasing number of the world's top IT organizations. We're lucky to be able to hear from many of them throughout this week. Now at Salt, at Salt Stack, we love open source software and we acknowledge the tremendous amount of lift that it brings to everyone involved. And just to give you a few statistics here, to date, there are over 1.4 million lines of code that have been written for the SALT project. Today, we have over 2,500 all-time contributors, 85% of which go on to become repeat contributors to the project. We're fortunate to have 40 worldwide meetup groups with over 4,500 members, and that number continues to grow year over year. We've done some interesting things recently to bolster and to strengthen our community presence. One of which is that we've added um, functional working groups so that you can pick and choose which aspects of the code you'll work on. So that you can align your interests with, uh, with the community and with the open source project. And just last week we added Slack groups to help facilitate the flow of communication and ideas. So we're very excited about a lot of the things that we're doing within the open source community. Now, building an accretive software company from such a strong open source ecosystem is no easy task. But we feel very fortunate and very grateful to our community as well, uh, as well as our commercial customers who have helped us uh, to make uh, and to navigate that sometimes difficult journey. SaltStack launched the enterprise product in November of 2016. Our last SaltConf, which was in April, uh, a, year, a year and a half ago, uh, we launched and made, made the announcement that we're gonna be releasing SaltStack Enterprise 5.0. And over the last year, we've poured thousands of hours and countless nights into the creation and refinement of this product. We continue to invest a tremendous amount of time and resources in organizing an excellent team of software developers who are well equipped to take SaltStack Enterprise into the mainstream. This has been absolutely transformative to our business. Now, thanks to Enterprise, we've been recognized as one of the fastest growing software companies in the state of Utah and a leader in the realm of commercial systems management. Our company has grown 100% year over year for the last two years, and we're on track to continue that trend for the foreseeable future. We've been highlighted by analysts as a leader in automation. And I look forward to hearing in a few minutes, as all of you should as well, from Alex Pay, our VP of product, who will elaborate more on the product and the product roadmap that, uh, that lies ahead of us. 
So where do we expect to be over the next 12 months? Where is SaltStack going? The vision of this company, unequivocally, is to build, manage, and to secure every infrastructure node on the planet. Now we recognize that that is an audacious goal. We expect to significantly expand our engineering headcount by this time next year, perhaps even to double it. We want to continue to enhance the user experience within SaltStack. This means simplified onboarding, going from zero to one or from zero to delight much faster. It means deeper functionality and stronger technical adjacencies within our platform. We look forward to having all of you participate in that journey and that roadmap over the next 12 months. Now, in conclusion, SaltConf is a great opportunity for many things. And I want to extend three distinct challenges to all of you, an invitation, if you will, for the next two days. First, I extend the invitation to learn, to expand your vision of what SALT can do and how it can create further opportunities within your organization. Two, network. One of SALT's greatest strengths, and always has been, is its user base. Today at this conference, you have more SALT knowledge present than has ever been assembled before. And so I encourage you to tap into that, that user base, and to network and to learn from your peers. And third, let's have a lot of fun. We had a great opening party last night. This evening, we'll have our closing party. I encourage you to have a ton of fun. Who rode the bull last night? Okay, hopefully we'll have a few more tonight. Now, I hope that each of us can launch into our respective challenges and opportunities better equipped with the knowledge that we gain right here at SaltConf. And so I encourage you to enjoy the next couple of days. Thank you very much.